When was the last time you updated your professional headshots? Was it six months ago? A year ago? Longer? Do you even have professional photos of yourself? If you're missing this crucial element of your personal brand, it's hurting your credibility. In this video, I'm going to be giving you my top tips for taking professional headshots that boost your personal brand and build your authority. I'm Missy, founder and capsule wardrobe stylist of Simplified Wardrobe. I help ambitious women build expressive, minimal wardrobes so they can look great and feel confident without the stress. So why are professional headshots so important? If you don't already know, a great headshot is necessary for your career. These days, you at least need to be on LinkedIn, not to mention any industry-specific sites and social media like Twitter or Instagram. And really, it's best to have a personal blog or website as well. And all of these profiles and websites and blogs need to have consistent, high-quality photos of you because gatekeepers are going to be searching for you online and they need to know, number one, that you're a real person, number two, that you're the same person on every single account, and number three, that you are keeping updated and current in your industry. And having an old, unprofessional photo that you can barely even tell is you is not sending the right message. And yet a lot of people are still using selfies, grainy photos from college, or have no photo at all. Now, I understand that you might be a little bit camera shy. You feel awkward. You don't really know what to do with your hands. Like, what do I even usually do with my hands? And you also really don't know what to wear. But with the following tips, you'll be more confident and comfortable in front of the camera. Tip number one, don't wear loud clothing. And I mean visually loud, not audibly loud, although, Maybe don't wear that either. For a magazine spread or a blogger photo shoot, color is great, but not so much for business photos because a fashion shoot is meant to highlight the clothes, not the model. But you will be using your photos on your website and your social media to showcase you. Your clothing should highlight you, not detract. So don't wear bright colors, busy patterns, or gaudy jewelry and accessories, especially near your face. Do Wear clothing and jewelry in your best neutral or more subdued colors and patterns. Tip number two, be very cautious about professional hair and makeup. Getting your hair and makeup done for a professional photo shoot sounds like a good idea, right? Well, maybe. It's entirely reasonable and fun to get your hair and makeup done for a big event like a wedding or a fancy party. You wanna look elevated and extra special. However, it's not exactly how you want to look for a professional headshot. You want to look professional, of course, but more importantly, you want to look like yourself. If you have a makeup artist that you work with regularly and really trust to make you look like the best version of yourself, then go for it. Otherwise, I'd stick to doing it yourself. If you're not really great at the whole makeup thing, then have a trusted friend do it. Or if you do end up using a professional makeup artist, make sure that you have a trial or see samples of their work so you know that they can hit the look that you're going for. Again, you want to shine, not the makeup. I once did a photo shoot and got my makeup done by a professional makeup artist. It was kind of a rushed appointment. I didn't schedule things very well. I thought that I would just pop in, get my makeup done, go to the photo shoot. But when I looked in the mirror after she was done, it was shocking. She assured me that in the photos, it won't look that harsh. And I trusted her because I didn't really have another option. And spoiler, I looked like a clown. Don't overdo it with the hair and makeup. Do go for a more natural or slightly elevated everyday look by doing your own makeup or working with someone that you definitely trust. Tip number three, location, location, location. As far as where to shoot goes, think about what you're trying to communicate about you, your brand, and your professional work. Your photographer might shoot at a studio location, in which case thinking about a specific location might not be an issue. However, you might have to still choose a colored background or a set. I recommend choosing something neutral and of about a medium intensity. Gray or taupe work great. I would stay away from really stark options like black or true white, anything really bright or a busy pattern. If you do need to find a location, think about a setting that would really showcase the work that you do. Maybe that's sitting at a coffee shop working on your laptop or maybe inside your studio or workshop. When in doubt, a nice brick or wood paneled wall is a great spot for a headshot. Don't neglect the background 
or choose something too boring, too busy, or too bright. Do consider a location that highlights you, whether that's in the materials, the setting, or the props. If you're shooting in a photo studio, choose a neutral background of medium intensity that doesn't clash or blend in to your clothing, your face, or your hair. Tip number four, make sure your clothing fits you perfectly. Make sure you can move easily, nothing is pulling, gaping, riding up, or falling down. Make sure there aren't any loose threads or signs of visible wear or stains. I recommend wearing something at least a little bit fitted or tailored, but not skin tight. You should be able to see that you have a body, but not every nook and cranny. You don't wanna look like you're drowning or suffocating in your clothes. Again, the focus should be on you. Wearing the same color or similar color from head to toe creates a very sleek look that also really highlights your face. And of course, you can never go wrong with a crisp blazer. Whether it's a full suit or just thrown on over a band tee and jeans, a blazer always adds a little bit of extra polish. Don't wear oversized or otherwise ill-fitting or distressed clothing, even if it's supposed to look that way for hashtag fashion reasons. Do wear professional clothing that fits your body perfectly. Add bonus sleekness by wearing a monochromatic outfit or throwing on a blazer. Tip number five, forget about looking silly. I admit I feel silly being photographed, especially out in a public space. I even feel pretty silly recording this by myself right now. When I get all in my head thinking, who am I to be posing in front of a camera? Well, people think I'm full of myself if I seem like I'm taking myself too seriously. I end up nervous laughing or making really awkward faces and not in a cute like lady laughing with her salad kind of way, but in more of a mouth contorted double chin kind of way. I do not look like a confident business professional. Here's what to do instead. Hold smiles or facial expressions for much longer than feels comfortable or normal. That way your photographer can take a bunch of photos and be sure to get one where your eyes are open, you're not making a weird face, and you're not partially in movement. In fact, just move around less in general. You also wanna cheat out, which means turning just slightly towards the camera, even when you're taking more candid photos. Also, be aware of your facial expressions. I know it's weird, we don't usually think about our faces all the time, but when you're doing your photos, make sure that you know what you're doing with your face at all times. For head-on shots, push your head forward and angle your chin slightly down. It looks weird from the side, but from the front, it gives you more space between your chin and your neck. And finally, just do what your photographer tells you to do and do it seriously without laughing or feeling awkward and silly. They're a professional, just trust them. So don't make it a joke. I know it feels really awkward in front of the camera, but you just have to get over it. Do be aware of your face and hold poses and expressions for longer than feels natural. It feels like a silly process, but I promise you it's important. So take it seriously. And tip number six, wear something you would wear. A lot of people wanna go out and buy a bunch of new clothes for their photo shoot, but photo shoots and big events are really not good places to start reinventing your style. Because more likely than not, you'll end up with photos that you don't really feel comfortable in and clothes that you're never gonna wear again. Instead, wear items that you already own that you love and feel good in. Clothes that you would wear in your normal everyday life. Sure, you might wanna dress it up a little bit more than a regular day, but you do not need to go out and buy a full suit if what you normally wear is just business casual. I recommend wearing a tried and true favorite outfit or favorite piece because you'll just feel that much more confident and like yourself during the photo shoot. Don't wear something you think a professional business person would wear that you don't really feel comfortable in. Do wear something you love and feel comfortable and confident wearing. It will come through in the photos. And as I said before, many times, these photos should look and feel like you. What if you don't own anything like that? If you don't have anything in your closet already that makes you feel professional, confident, and comfortable, well, that makes me pretty sad. Everyone should have items in their closet that make them feel amazing. If you're ready to upgrade your wardrobe so that all of your clothes fit perfectly, look great on you, and make you feel like a badass business professional, I would love to help you. I'll link more information about my styling services in the description. If you're not ready yet to hire a professional, that's totally okay, you can still DIY it. By getting more style tips and tricks, just subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram where I also talk about capsule wardrobes, color analysis, and personal style. You can get your hands on my free signature style guide 
over at my website, that's simplifiedwardrobe.com. I'll also put that link in the description. And if you found this information helpful, please let me know with a like. And if you know someone else who could benefit from it, go ahead and give it a share. I would really appreciate it. So until next time, vogue your way to the corner office. Probably a lot longer than you thought it was gonna happen. Longer than I thought it was gonna happen. Okay, bye.